A recent article in the fairly sensationalist UK tabloid The Daily Star has claimed in an exclusive report that Jack the Ripper has been unmasked. The paper claims the fearsome killer has been unmasked more than 130 years after his reign of terror over London's East End, and his identity has allegedly been revealed as Aaron Kosminski, a barber originally from Poland who emigrated to the UK in the 1880s. It read, The bold claim is made by Madame Two Swords London, which is relaunching its famous Chamber of Horrors attraction this month. The Ripper figure will take the form of Kosminski. Two Swords say their stance has been backed by TV criminologist Professor David Wilson, who specialises in serial killers and used modern techniques to pinpoint Kosminski as the culprit. They use geographic profiling, analysing the locations of a series of crimes to determine the most likely area the offender will live. Professor Wilson said, Kosminski's name was in the frame at the time of the Jack the Ripper murders. He was named by a couple of senior police officers and, if we take their evidence and apply that to a number of modern criminological techniques, Kosminski is front and centre as being the likely perpetrator. For example, in geographic profiling, whenever that's done on the canonical five murders, Sion Square, where Kosminski lived, emerges as the hotspot where Jack the Ripper was likely to have lived. In 1888, the unidentified serial killer known as Jack the Ripper murdered five prostitutes around Whitechapel in East London. But who was Aaron Kosminski? The question is not as straightforward as you might think. Jewish immigrant Kosminski was incarcerated at the then Leavesden Asylum on April 19th, 1894. He died at the facility on March 24th, 1919. While writing my book, The Inevitable Jack the Ripper, I contacted Martin Brooks, who, as well as being a former local councillor, is a founder of the Leavesden Hospital History Association. He sent me some of his exhaustive research on Aaron Kosminski. His findings said Kosminski had been abused by his mother and had a known hatred for women, especially especially prostitutes. He added, modern day criminal profilers and psychologists all agree that abuse at an early age is the cornerstone for the type of sociopathic behaviour exhibited by serial killers. But Ripper author and former murder detective Trevor Marriott questioned the role and even the existence of Kosminski in the case. He said there is no evidence to suggest this man Aaron Kosminski was ever regarded as a Ripper suspect. There was a man who was named by surname only, Kosminski, mentioned in two documents, which are questionable. So the two may not even be the same in any event. Mr Brooks's studies do partially corroborate what Mr Marriott said about the confusion over Kosminski's identity, with different spellings abound and some shaky record-keeping. But there does appear to have been a man by that name in Whitechapel at the time, and he was committed to Leavesden in 1894 until his death in 1919. He had previously spent time at another asylum, Coney Hatch, and at Mile End Workhouse in East London, where he was designated as insane. I visited the site of Leavesden Asylum a few years ago and found the only remains to be an eerie overgrown graveyard deep in the woods, but Kosminski is not among those interred at the site. A grave marker and official records at Hertfordshire Archives and Local Studies state that he is buried in East Ham Jewish Cemetery in East London. London Metropolitan Archives also confirmed to me that it held records of Kosminski's time at Leavesden. Overcrowding and staff shortages blighted the site and later, a year before Kosminski's death, the staff shortage was so acute three wards had to be closed. These were not all reopened until 1921. Electricity was only installed when modernisation took place between 1929 and 1931. After a series of name changes and management transferals, the site finally closed in 1995, 101 years after Kosminski's arrival. But was he really Jack the Ripper? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And thanks for watching. And just a reminder that you can support this channel on Subscribestar, link in description. Bye for now.